Hello again. Um, I figured since we're going down memory lane of a lot of stuff. Remember when things had cords on it? The PlayStation 2, of all things. Um, <clears throat> I finally got mine back late, late 2004, maybe 2005. Um, I just moved out when I was in, like, Washington. Whole military thing. Um, I played the crap out of that PS4. Um, I still got it sitting over there somewhere. I had to stop using it as a DVD player because certain DVDs have a way of tilting and then cutting a disc into the disc. I mean, um, it's terrible. But I did, while rummaging through my mountain of crap, find some games that I remember playing a lot of. First off is the one that everybody should have played. Jeopardy. Yeah, Jeopardy. This was actually pretty good. Me and my friend, like, we just, you know, stay up, drunk as hell, and Jack Daniels, and Diet Coke for some reason. Ugh. Um, we play the crap out of this Jeopardy. Also, Jeopardy's a fantastic thing. Rest in peace, uh, Alex Trebek. Lego Star Wars. This game is fantastic. You, you don't need no more words. It's Lego. It's Star Wars. Before they started adding in, like, you know, dialogue and whatnot. It doesn't need it. It's Legos. Legos don't need to talk. But this, Destroy All Humans, needed to talk. This was one of the funniest games back when it came out. And it's destructive. It's violent. And it's absolutely destructively fun. Um... I haven't played like the re-release or whatever they did with it. I do have, I did have number two. A lot of my games I had to sell for various reasons. Some people were like they were collecting them. Um, that's why I don't have Dragon Quest Eight anymore, which really pisses me off. Um, so one of the reasons why I bought Dragon Quest Eleven because I wanted to play Dragon Quest Eight again, but Sony doesn't play it anymore. You got, if you wanted, you got to get like the DS version and. No, screw that. Um, I lost the rest of some of the other ones. So here's my case of games. Um, Atelier Iris. Um, this was a fun game. Atelier, um, I think that's how you say it. Uh, they have a long history of, uh, I guess you call them like, you know, like just general RPG, RPG kind of things. Um, See if this looks better. Yeah. Tony Hawk's The American Wasteland. I think I had Underground. I'm not... I don't remember playing it all that much, though. This, I played a lot of. Yeah. Let's see if we can zoom in on that. There we go. And then Star Wars, the sequel. Of course I had the sequel. It was great. Um, it continues to be pretty decent for what it is. And then, always, the GTA. I mean, Vice City. I don't like pastel colors. That's not pretty obvious. Um, but I love San Andreas, except for the helicopter and the flying missions. Those were complete bullshit. Nobody likes those. They even have like top 10 lists of like the worst, you know, video game sections. And it's on there for a reason. Um, I did recently rebuy Dark Cloud 2 on my uh, PlayStation 4 because I honestly forgot I had it. Um, this is Steambot Chronicles. It looks a lot like Dark Cloud, um, but you can build your own mech to walk around in in the game. Um, it's made by Atlas, which they, they made a lot of cool games back in the day. Um, then it's not a great game, but again, if you like Dark Cloud, that whole thing where you like not building the world, obviously, but building, you know, your own mech that you can go around like fight in robot wars and whatnot. It, that that's actually pretty cool. Um you got Psychonauts. I mean Tim Schafer as in this game is like on his game, you know, perfection. Um I did recently finally finish Grim Fandango. Boy is that a convoluted nightmare of a game. This is the last legacy of Kane that ever came out. Um, I'm mad I don't have uh, the one before where they introduced Raziel. This is uh, Defiance. 
it's okay. It has Raziel in it, and it has Kane, but it's uh, it's okay as a game. Uh, Dragon Ball Budokai Tenkaichi three. I prefer two. <clears throat> That's just me. Um, they got really good at like the like you know countering the combos in this one, and it became kind of a pain in the ass. I don't think I ever finished that one. Two, I got way further in. Um, huge Dragon Ball Z fan. Um, Rogue Galaxy. I own it. I never played it beyond the first couple hours because a friend of mine borrowed it and then never gave it back for months at a time. Um, so apparently it's pretty good. And I have replayed it since, but I keep getting distracted with other things. And apparently the only other one I have in this thing is Taito Legends. Not even sure. I think that's the people that made like Bubble Bobble and whatnot. Um, so those are certain games. I could recap them when I want to. I'm comfortable. This is my floppy shirt. Um, you know, that's PlayStation 2. I have more games. Um, like Killer7. That's a weird, fun game. I mean, Suda51. I have a few of his games. They're just absolutely bonkers and confusing and also extremely cool um it's kind of like if Hideo Kojima did more drugs I guess um anyway uh this has been some list of PlayStation games that I know I had fun playing them technically I guess growing up I mean I had PlayStation and I had you know the first thing I ever had was a Nintendo like the original Nintendo um, yeah, I'm an old dude. Um, anyway, hope you have a great day. I'm Jake. This is my collection. And, uh, I think I might cover a few, uh, PlayStation ones if I have them. Um, again, have a great day. Wear a mask. Don't be a fucking monster. Enjoy yourself. Later.